time on The Big Show. Founded in 1997 by Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph in California, Netflix in the first three months of 2020 managed to get 15 million new subscribers. Not to mention the old subscribers, 15 million new subscribers will be tuning in to watch Zimbabwe's first offering on Netflix called Cook Off. Now the Cook Off follows the story of Anesu, a down on her luck single mother from Bodiriro, who becomes a sensation after qualifying for Zimbabwe's top reality TV cooking show. These dogs, these dogs and these cars are just jealous, I tell you like lockdown things can you imagine that now the <laughs> cook-off features rising star that's Tendai Shea Chitima as Anesu as well as a popular hip-hop artist Ten Diamond as her fellow chef Prince and of course much loved Justice Mungoshi we know her as Neria and she plays Anesu's grandmother now this is 100% made in Zimbabwe and it's a beautiful romantic comedy. It's reminiscent of the times when we used to watch our Zimbabwe movies up on screens and a yellow card and a neria, all of these beautiful offerings. And do you know what? I'm not going to say much. Listen to the trailer. You will want to watch it yourself. I don't know. I think I missed my chance. What are you doing? Life isn't fair, Shane. You go to school, you have big dreams. She's such a disappointment. You've started cooking again. How is uh his name is Tapiwa? Bye, love you. He's the only thing I managed to do right in this life. So we're looking for 16 chefs to take part in the new season of Battle of the Chefs. You should enter, Mom. I, I really think you did right. This is for professional chefs. I wouldn't stand a chance. What is it? We've entered you into the cooking competition. What? Over the next 10 weeks, we'll be eliminating the weakest each week. Where are we going, Mom? Go big or go home. Are you ready for this? I'm going to kick your butt. I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm afraid you're not cut out for this. We all agree. Only professional chefs have ever made it past the second round. I hope there's nothing too experimental in this dish, because you know we like our salsa the way we like it. I saw your honesty is now in the TV. I'm here on Battle of the Chefs to just show what single mothers are capable of. <laughs> when am I going to meet this Prince Charming of yours? You're not like any other girl I've met. You do your best. Believe in yourself. Good luck, Mom. Tapia really has his hopes up. I just feel like I'm way, way out of my depth. It's a good thing when people like you know their place. I didn't think you were a quitter. Maybe this was all a mistake. One last thing. I'm in this too. And if it comes down to me versus you, I won't hold back. Hmm. Sounds like there's a little challenge in there. <laughs> you gave us a piece of charcoal on a plate masquerading as chicken. You're the weakest chef. Bye-bye. Jumping up and down with the excitement. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We're on Netflix. Now, Cook Off also features a, a lot, a lot of Zimbabwean actors as well as personalities from like Studio 263, Wenera, Bus Stop TV, as well as Ambedi News. And there's cameos there from um, Karen Pida, as well as Silence Ngor, Shingai no Shoniwa. And the soundtrack is off the chain. It also features our very own, yes, I'm still claiming her. She used to be at ZFM, man. Ozito. But now she's getting Grand ideas. I don't understand what, what her plan is in life. This is the big show with Zisho. I'm Martin Doctor. Tell him seven. Okay, so I'm going to tell him something in two minutes. I got things to do, girl. I got places to be. Thanks for reaching out to Chomi Yazi. It's amazing news. Yes, our movie Cook Off is going to be on Netflix, baby. Netflix, man. Ish. Ish. Can you believe it, Mina? I still can't believe it. It's insane. By the way, when I was doing a Battle of the Chefs, that's where like the movie basically stems from. I was at ZFM, so I was juggling two things at the same time. If I give music, Lapi Retro Lapa, Sitogo Peganyana, you know, a TV show that is now on Netflix, CC. Can you believe it? Well, but I mean, it's, it's been great. We're happy. Shout out to uh, Thomas Lutuli and um, Brick Hill. That's his proper surname, but you know, Lutuli is Hapongum Niganje. And of course, Joel Jagu for um, producing this movie and making it fantastic. And shout out to Tendai. The Tendai is actually for doing a brilliant job. 
they're going to be like debuting on Netflix. Incredible stuff. We're so excited. It's a blessing. It's a beautiful time to celebrate. Proudly Zimbabwean, proudly Zimbabwean people in it, man. Karen Paida is in there as well. So many amazing people. So it's a moment to celebrate. Thank you so much, Ahmad. Thank you, the big, big, big show. And of course, Mandebele. <laughs> Mm, allow me to flourish by it yeah now on netflix ah uh, by it now we're going to be hearing from more of the car from the cast and crew of uh, cook off which is now uh, is going to be on netflix 160 million subscribers will be enjoying our zimbabwean gems and i want to know from you as well what do you think about the trailer will you be going in to watch it we're going to be finally downloading and installing your netflix on your devices to watch this amazing zimbabwean uh, movie and what do you think what direction are we going in terms of our movie industry? Hit us up, 0731-168045. And of course, all the conversations we're having on air are online at ZFM Stereo on Twitter and Facebook. Well, it's a big show. Z. Still celebrating the fact that Cook Off, a 100% Zimbabwean movie, managed to jump its way and get itself onto Netflix. 160 million subscribers nationwide, more probably subscribing as we speak right now, celebrating Zimbabwean movie, managed to catch up with uh, the leading men, Mr. Ten Diamond himself. We know him from his music, from his hip-hop career, and he's also jumped into movies. But you know what? He actually was in movies from Kudara. Imagine that. So, um... For myself, at a number of points throughout my um, my uh, music career, I've been asked to come and like read for uh, certain like different TV shows or shoot like pilots for movies that didn't end up actually happening or trailers for movies that didn't end up happening. Um, I've been I've read for like TV shows and stuff. And three four years ago, I was asked to read for Cook Off, and um, uh, fortunately, Tom and Joe actually ended up casting me in the role of Prince. Um, and as far as how it's been different to the music industry, like, I, I don't know, I, I feel like the creative space in, in the country is just, it's similar in general. We're all still trying to really build a, a viable um, industry that really, a viable and sustainable industry that makes sense. Um, what I loved about my experience with Cook Off was just the teamwork, the collaboration aspect. Um, it was very intense. We shot over about a month. To a month and a half i remember at the same time i just started recording the feeling ain't fear tfaf2 with few kings it was winter it was cold so it was a lot of a lot of a lot of work there but i, I guess as we've seen now very much worth it um as far as what else you can expect from me from as far as acting and film and tv i've been working on a, a tv show called um working wives so earlier this year i went down to sa to to shoot more scenes for that and um, yeah I, I think with my acting it's it's not really something I kind of planned for I've just been taking up every opportunity as it comes growing up acting was actually my first love I, I started out in theater um, I played Romeo and Romeo and Juliet at Raps, Reps Theater so it's just something that's been with me for a while and I'm just glad to get to express this other side of my creativity you are not always just going to be one thing. We're not always going to be one thing. And this is exactly what uh, speaking to Tenor just showed us right now. He was a hip-hop artist, but he's also an actor and has his, you know, foot right there. That's where his love is. What are some of the skills that you have? Like, you know, we can't just be one thing. I'm not just a radio presenter. I'm a mother and gardener and stuff. What are your talents? 731 168 Are you not entertained? Screen time on the big show. Still riding high on the fact that Cook of the Movie, 100% Zimbabwean movie, is now it's, it's going to be showing on Netflix very, very soon. We've heard from Ten Diamond as well as Zilo. They appeared in the movie. Now, Thomas Brickhill is one of the producers as well as Joe and Jago and caught up with him a little bit earlier on. Wanted to find out, like, how excited is he? Can you imagine the excitement on there? And of course, what this means for Zimbabwean movie industry. Cook Off, our movie is coming to Netflix. You know, we're super excited in the Cook Off camp, you know, exciting times. This is a chance for us to introduce Zimbabwean films to the world, you know. So it's really exciting. It's been quite a journey. We made Cook Off in 2017, and now three years later, after a big 
worldwide festival round, taking it to all the big festivals around the world and scooping a bunch of awards along the way, Cook Off is coming to Netflix, you know. So we're really excited. Uh, history has been made and also f for the future, there's hope for the industry. So we have a lot of projects uh, that are lined up, feature films, TV series that people can look forward to coming in the near future. And I'm so excited that this is a chance, like Zimbabwe has been hit by so many negative uh, vibes, publicity, and now here we are having a chance to start rebranding our country using film. So exciting times ahead. Very exciting times indeed. Very, very, very exciting times indeed. Congratulations to the cast and crew of Cook Car for the movie. Going to be showcased on Netflix. Coming up at one o'clock, we do have the news with Sharps. And then we get into the lunchtime mix, mixed by DJ Smith and brought to you by OK Mart. Are you not entertained? Screen time on The Big Show.